In this video, we're going to derive a firm's output supply equation. The firm's production function is given as follows. Q equals L raised to the power of A. Q is the quantity of output. L is the labor input. And we'll note here A is going to be greater than 0 but less than 1. So we want to solve for the output supply equation, where the firm's output is a function of the wage and the price it sells its product for. It's going to be a perfectly competitive firm, so P will be given for the firm. So P is the price of the product. Again, this is a price taker. W is the wage. So the first thing we'll do is solve the production function for L. So this production function up here, we're going to simplify it for, uh, for L. So I am just going to raise both sides to the 1 over A power. And we get this. We're going to take this result and plug it into the firm's cost function, where cost equals wage times units of labor. We could ignore fixed costs here when we're deriving the firm's out so output supply equation. And so making our substitution for L as Q raised to the 1 over A power, we have this. The next step is to get marginal cost. So marginal cost is a derivative of the cost equation with respect to Q, the quantity of output. So this 1 divided by A comes down in front. So we just have W over A now. And then we've got to subtract 1 from that exponent on Q. Simplifying that up a little bit, the exponent will simplify to the following. So you have 1 divided by A minus A divided by A. And so just simplifying that, you can write it like this. And in perfect competition, price equals marginal cost. So MC will now be substituted out for P. And we want to solve this for Q. So multiplying both sides through by A divided by W, multiplying both sides through by A divided by W, we get this right here. And now raising both sides to the reciprocal of the exponent on Q, we get the supply equation, the output supply equation for the firm. And note, it, and note that it is a function of the price and the wage. Just rewriting that output supply equation. If A was 1 half, our supply equation would simplify down to something nicely like this. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.